welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a glow up for Christmas. So as you can see right now, I'm still in my Christmas PJs, which I do love, um, and my dressing gown and my hair's looking questionable. It's really, really greasy. I've also got my roots growing out. If I just put it into the middle part, and you'll be able to see. Look. Today is Monday and this Saturday is Christmas day. I wanna get glowed up. I wanna feel 100% and I want to feel so glam for Christmas so that is what we're going to be doing in today's video I have a hair appointment booked today I have a nail appointment booked I'm going to be finding my supreme amazing outfit for today that I feel 100% amazing in I'm also going to be getting a few jobs done as well just to make sure that my mind also has a glow up and that I'm also not stressed and that I feel really really relaxed and happy so for the overall glow up for today I think we should get started. Task one, we're gonna hop in the shower. Wow, did I really just come in here to do that? Yes, I did. We're going to hop in the shower, sort out this greasy hair mess that we've got going on. And I think that made me feel a lot better about myself and I'll feel a lot fresher and cleaner because I've had a shower. So I'll just quickly show you the products I'm gonna be using in the shower. Not that they're that interesting because I've always used the same products, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Okay, they're wet, um, so they're dripping everywhere. The shampoo and conditioner I've always used is the Elviv L'Oreal Dream Lengths shampoo and conditioner. Absolutely amazing, cannot recommend them enough. I've been using them for like a year now because they're recommended to me by my best friend Megan. She has the most beautiful, shiny hair every day. So I was like, I need to use whatever she's using. And then for shower gel, I use the Imperial Leather Polynesian Paradise shower gel. And then for my face wash, I use the Nivea Refreshing Face Wash. This is like two pounds or something from basically any little corner shop you go in, they probably sell this. I hadn't planned to use this as my general face wash because obviously it was just a cheap one. I kind of bought it to fill in the gap between me using my Clinique one that I just ran out. But because the Clinique one was so expensive, I thought, you know, I'll just get this for a while and try this out. It's actually been really good. I would love to try out the CeraVe face wash and moisturizer and everything like that. So I'm probably going to get that at some point. Maybe use my Christmas money or if I get it for Christmas, I don't know. But for now, this is what I use and it's actually pretty good. And that is it. Those are all the products I use in the shower. So let's uh, hop in and I'll see you in a little bit. dry yet but i'm just gonna let it the rest dry naturally and then i will straighten it in a bit but now it's time to choose an outfit so i'm gonna be scrolling through my pinterest because my pinterest is basically like what i want to wear what i want to dress like so i'm gonna scroll through my pinterest screenshot some ideas and some outfits that i really really like and then choose an outfit that i have that's fairly similar to one of those so the photos i think i've decided i'm gonna style my outfit on i will pop on screen now so i think the vibe is a small top shorts denim shorts and then i'm gonna wear some tights underneath some black tights underneath and then either a big cardigan or a blazer over the top and then some black boots and a belt like a black belt with a gold embellishment or something i think that is the vibe i seem to have gone for with most of these screenshots and i'm gonna have a look through my drawers and see what i've got i have three pairs of denim shorts we've got these ones which i got from vintage so they're second hand i don't know where they're originally from I think Primark and then we've got these ones which are also from Primark in fact all of my shorts are from Primark these are really short they have daisies embroidered on them uh, which is really cute but not quite the vibe unless I go for like a yellow top and a black cardigan and the final pair are these and they've got flowery little I don't know stitching on the bottom of the shorts I don't think I'm gonna go with these I think I'm gonna discount these ones but it will be between the other two then. So I'm gonna have a look at what tops and cardigans and stuff I've got as well, and then sort of decide from there. And I'll pop the outfit on, so the next thing you'll see is me in my chosen outfit. This is my outfit of the day. I have got on denim shorts 
a fake Chanel belt, a brown race neck top from New Look, a long cardigan from ASOS, it's like an oatmeal knitted cardigan and some black tights from Primark and they're like super thick tights with like socks on the bottom if you know what I mean and my hair is falling out I haven't actually done my hair properly what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and do my makeup so let's go do that and I think I'm gonna do some eyeliner because I absolutely love eyeliner flicks um but I'm not very good at it so it might take me a while to do but we're gonna give it a go so plan for makeup is to use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, the number seven Stay Perfect Eyeliner, the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner because I've got two and they're both like good for different things, so I'll end up using both of them most likely. The Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer, and then some kind of brow gel. I've got two brow gels. One is I think a Rimmel brow gel, and this is also a Rimmel brow gel. So I'll be using some kind of clear Rimmel brow gel. And that is pretty much it. I'm going with something quite simple. I don't know if I'm going to put on eyeshadow yet or not. I think I might just put on really, really light pink sparkly eyeshadow or something. Cue the time lapse. Okay, my makeup is done except for my lips, which I'm going to put something on once I've eaten my lunch because I'm literally about to go and have my lunch now. But this eye, can I just say, this is the happiest I have ever been with my eyeliner. Now, I know some people's eyeliner is better than this every day, but for me, I could not be happier with this eye. Well, I was really, really happy with this eye, and then I did this eye. And I was like, okay, that's really bad now. Tried to fix it, made it worse, took it all off and did this eye again. Still not the best on this eye, but this bad boy is doing well. I'm not going to do too much to my hair. I think I might just straighten it, but obviously I'm going to the hairdressers later and she's going to end up washing it again. So there's not really much point in doing much to my hair, but we'll figure that out once I have had my lunch. I just got back from the hairdresser's look at my hair. Okay, we're kind of dealing with some weird lighting right now, but um, I am so unbelievably happy with it. Back to Princess the Little Mermaid slash Ariel again. Oh my gosh. And now I'm just having my dinner and then I'm gonna be going back to the hair studio to get my nails done and I'm so excited. So I'm in the salon. I've just got my nails done by Magda and I absolutely love them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We were just talking about my YouTube channels. That's why we said we'd vlog in here. Yeah. I'm home and this is the end of today's glow up. I just want to say this was so much fun. I love the new look. My hair, insane. Absolutely love the colour and when you've just got your roots done, and it looks so good on the top. Honestly, it's like the best feeling. And then my nails, it's been two years, two and a half years since I had um, acrylic nails. And why are they so perfect? I'm so tempted to just get them done all the time, but that will cost me a fortune. So probably will not be doing that. But honestly, also Magda, the lady who did my nails was the nicest person. She was so, so lovely. And so was Freya who did my hair as well. Everybody in that salon is so lovely. Uh, Jenna as well, who owns the salon. Just 100% recommend the hair studio. Um, I'll probably link their Instagram in my description because obviously they were kind of the main people who helped me in today's video. I am going to go to bed, take my makeup off, which I'm so sad because I just do not want to keep this, take this eyeliner off. Can I just keep this eyeliner on every day? If my eyeliner and my makeup could just be like this when I wake up in the mornings, every day would be good. 